Hello there and welcome to part 9 of the game Pyro's Let's Play Baldur's Gate 1. Um, we have one more sub-quest to do in the friendly Armin and then we're going to the Nashkel Mines. So let's do this real quick. Let's go in this lady's house. We're right here on the map. So uh, we just got um, a Jahira and, and uh, Khalid in our group. So that's good. Got a healer and a fighter. So that's all we need really. Yes. Speak your mind. I will help you. She her ring got stolen by some goblins, some hobgoblins. We agree we agree to bring it back to her, so Go get some. Gotta exit. We gotta go all the way up there, so here we go. Oh, and if you're trying to sell a wand or a staff or something, make sure it's fully charged. You can't sell anything that's um, not fully charged. It won't be sold for anything. You can get the full price of it if it's fully charged. So if you try to sell this wand, it won't be worth as much because it had 10 charges on it. Now it only has 9. So let's make sure it's fully charged. And we're walking up here. What's the stack of at now with that? 19. Armor class 1, not bad. 2, 0. How was he at? Oh, because of his dexterity, I guess. 7, garbage. I hope she dies. I just don't like her. Like, she's a fighter and a druid, and neither is she good at both. So, she's just a bad character, and she's pretty snappy, too. She's true neutral, so she cares about, you know, nature and keeping the balance of it, whatever the fuck. Alright, these guys have the ring. Alright, cast down that guy. Alright, you got nothing besides that one thing, so... Alright. Ash. House worse. Let's go, baby. Chainsaw time. Boom. Killed them. Killed them both. 35 experience each. Alright. To the helmet for Monteron. Uh, Bastard Sork itself for a lot. I'm just gonna take everything. Inventory's full, of course. We'll get the light things to our weak people. And then we get the scroll through our mage. Helmet to you and helmet to you. Helmet pretty much just stops anything from a critical hit. So the guys won't get like a twenty damage to them. So always wear a helmet. Cheap and lightweight. This is my boomstick. Okay. I think the goblins are up here, the ones that have the ring, a bit further up. So we're gonna go there. Alright, there they are. They got swords, so have them come to you, okay? We're gonna stand right here. Use our range guys and hit them. See, we already hit him once and he's already fleeing, so just have the range guys hit him. In Baldur's Gate 1, uh, Monteron actually had throwing. Um, Throwing axes that he can use, but I guess they didn't give them to him. Pretty sure he had them in the first one. Alright, Ash, chainsaw time. Alright. Ring should be here. We'll take these. There it is. That's the ring we want. We'll take that. And he's full, so. That to Khalid. 
Khalid. And we'll just wear it, it doesn't really matter, just to save space. Um, carry that. The, the uh, leather armor can sell for about 30, so always grab the, um, the uh, leather armor. Have your strongest guy carry it, because it's pretty heavy. Shut the fuck up. Alright, if you want a paladin, there's a paladin. Uh, you can travel up, there's a spot right there. We don't need a paladin because we already have Ash, but you want like a guy who can fight and you know heal. He's pretty good. He's not that strong. He has like 17 strength, but you know a paladin's a paladin. It's like an all-rounded uh, fighter and cleric type, healing and can fight. So we'll travel back down to here, and there shouldn't be anything to fight. So I'm just gonna uh, just have him travel, and we'll carry on from there. Okay, and we just transported it outside the gate opening. I thought I might as well just do that and see you guys the boredom of, you know, watching my players and characters move around. Kind of boring. So, just thought I'd pause it. The same uh, footage, too. Alright, we'll go in here. Give her the ring. I got it! Oh, thank you. God, good. Uh, you get nothing in return. Shut the fuck up. Besides a reputation, plus one, and 400 experience. But that helps out with the reputation. Um, the higher it goes up, the more people know you, the bigger discounts you get, um, the bigger rewards you get for quests. Before we travel, let's go sell that stuff. Oh my god. See, this is the problem with having those two evil guys in your group. They just hate you know, if you do good things and stuff like that. But this guy, you know, he's just sucking your dick over here. Oh god, I am be proud of your actions. Good. She should say something next. Oh, I like the way you do it, but we should go plant a tree now. Okay, we're going to here. Auto saving because you're into a, another a area type. I'm gonna go to this little dude over here. Sell that leather armor. We might be able to get Jahira some new armor if I feel like it. Behave it themselves. Okay. What? I thought it was sold for more than that. Never mind. Uh, just because of the weight of it, there's no need. So maybe it's in the second bowlers yet. It's sold for more. Armor, don't need that, sell it. If your mage, you know, they already have it uh, memorized, there's no point to even have it, sell it, because scrolls can be sold for a lot of money. So, sell them. Bastard swords or fives, that's not bad. Okay, you got something too. Uh, nothing, and you gotta identify that stuff. I might use this money just to identify that because you, you you don't have the full potential of the identified item until you actually have it identified of course it's like you have some secret weapon but you don't know what the fuck it is I'll get her something small it's armor let's see I'm thinking split mail but I really don't like her that much Hmm. Ah, uh, she's fine. Fuck her. Um, temples can identify if your mage can't, because Zara's an idiot, or if you don't have a bar or someone real smart with that, the higher lore. Just go to a temple and they can identify for you. We can go to that temple. It's, there's only one in here. Who wants some? Got scratching his ass. Saw that. All right, Temple of Wisdom. Let's go in here. I got it! I got it! You can donate. The higher you donate, the more reputation you get. I don't have that kind of money, so we're gonna go into this question mark. 
Um, who has it? Who has that ring of protection? You do. We'll just save the rest of the uh, money through the other parts of the quest. Oh, uh, identify that. Identify that. And we'll equip that. Alright, uh, this ends part 9, so we're going to go to part 10 and continue on our quest. So click on part 10.